This course will take you through the operation of GPS from the system of satellites themselves to the design and operation of the receivers. To get a clear picture of how everything fits together, let's start by imagining the launch of the GPS satellites into space and build from there. In week one, this week, we are covering the GPS system in general. The goal of this week is for you to have a clear overview of the system and the course so that each subsequent week you can relate to the new material that has come before. In week two, we will jump straight into the detail of how to compute position. The goal of week two is to know how ranges from satellites are turned into position, including understanding the basic equations involved. We will also introduce briefly the concept of high accuracy DGPS or differential GPS. The goal of this is to understand the basics of how GPS can give you centimeter accuracy. As you learn about computing position, the question will arise, how do we know exactly where the satellites are? In week three, we will learn about satellite orbits and the structure of the signals from the satellites and how these carry the information to us. Then in week four, we are ready to learn about receiver design. The goal of this week is to understand the basics of signal power and how a receiver acquires the GPS signal. In week five, we move on to modern implementations in particular, assisted GPS, which allows your smartphone to acquire a GPS signal much faster than it otherwise would have. The goal of this week is to learn how a GPS provides the satellite orbit data and how this speeds up the signal acquisition at the GPS receiver. We will also look into how a GPS enables high sensitivity in properly designed receivers. Finally, in week six, we will look at future GNSS, including other GPS-like systems, such as GLONASS from Russia, Beidou from China, Galileo from Europe, QZSS from Japan, and IRNSS from India. The goal is to understand the similarities to and differences from GPS. We will also learn about GPS-3, the future GPS system from the United States. In summary, one, we'll get a clear overview and system of the course this week. Two, you'll know how ranges from the satellites are turned into position. Three, learn about satellite orbits and the structure of the signals. Four, understand signal power and how a receiver acquires the GPS signal. Five, learn how a GPS speeds up signal acquisition and enables high sensitivity. And six, meet the future GNSS systems, including GPS-3. So in your journey through this course, you'll find that the lectures are quite technical. And so at the end of each week, we have a module called Navigation in Our Lives, where we'll take a break from the technical and just look at the practical and how various aspects of navigation have affected us and do affect us today. We'll, we'll look at navigation in aircraft, we'll look at the environmental tragedy of the Exxon Valdez and what the navigation issues were there. We'll look at GPS in sports, GPS apps in smartphones, and finally how GPS is nowadays almost everywhere in our lives. Happy travels.